Hi, Capricorn. Long time no see. Need a little bit of tarot for you guys. That's Aries energy. Six of Cups. What does your past want to tell you? Page of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. And the Hierophant. This Hierophant card been busy all night. Basically, the best thing for you guys to do is just focus on work. <laughs> That's the best thing for you to do, Capricorn, is keep your nose clean. All right, because you don't want um, misdeeds from the past to come and haunt you. There's a saying of like something coming from the past. This is just for some of you, right? But um, if you made any mistakes in the past, any did anything that you wasn't supposed to do, your best bet right now is to focus on your future and do the right thing. Keep your nose clean. All right, keep your nose clean. Cappies. This could be, I don't get the feeling of love. This feels like business. It honestly feels like some type of business or school or learning or something spiritual. You know, like other aspects of life. Everything ain't always about love and sex. But it seems as though a mistake was made somewhere. If it wasn't you that made the mistake, it's somebody in this situation it could be a past employer, something in the nature. Somebody made a mistake somewhere, right? And they got to work real hard <laughs> to bounce back from that. They're going to have to work real hard. Five of Cups. Three of Cups. Ace of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Two of Swords. This is a no. This is a no right here. So someone, their feelings are hurt. Their pride is hurt. They're worried. They're miserable. They're depressed. If you were wrongfully fired, this is like a boss that wants to rehire you. And I think this person is like, excuse the expression, shit and bricks right about now. Because no, you're not coming back to work with them. No, you're not coming back to deal with them. And they're kind of like worried about what the consequences and the outcome is going to be. This is a person that they know they made a mistake. They know they effed up. And they did it for stupid reasons. They did it for dumb reasons. Right? Pride, ego, the whole nine yards. But you know there's a saying, you're going to reap where you sore. See that? Seven of swords, that sneakiness and all of that other stuff. It comes back to haunt you. Ten of Pentacles. This is what you need to focus on right now, Capricorn. King of Pentacles. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? Right? That's what you got to focus on, making your garden grow. The thing about this strength card, it used to be a lady that subdued the lion in some of the depictions of it. She used sorcery to do it. So for some of you, there's even an element of dealing with like sorcerer, somebody that was that treacherous in this situation to where, you know, they were trying to ensnare and subdue you. But nah, not, not you little Miss Mary Mary, quite contrary. You focus on making your garden grow. The world is your oyster. Right? Nobody could stop you. Two of Wands. You just need to set your sights on what it is that you want, Capricorn. Set your sights on what it is that you want. This is what you want. You want satisfaction. You want fulfillment. You want the ultimate reward. You just want to be happy in your own space. Five of Swords. Queen of Wands. 
seven of pentacles i think this is why you couldn't be happy in your own space three of swords you couldn't be happy in your own space because you had a, another energy possible sagittarius that this person had a dangerous mouth and a sharp tongue five of swords so this was the fly in your ointment they were waiting they were watching they wanted your spot they waited for the opportunity to betray you and to cause some type of chaos or conflict or something of that nature so on one hand this is what happened and on the other hand for some of you if you choose to return to this old employer this old situation or whatever thinking is going to be happy this is what's going to upset your apple cart you have a very jealous energy this was jealousy all right plain and simple if you're ever wondering why didn't it work why are things like this again it doesn't have to be love right if you're wondering why jealousy and you know i honestly don't like it when people ask well why did this happen why did that happen and it's always the lowest of human emotions that make it happen because somebody was jealous because of envy because of greed sometimes because of ignorance, but it's always these things that as mature adults, we should not be letting jealousy and, and all of that make us screw with other people's lives, okay? But you're gonna be fine, Capricorn. You're gonna be fine. You got the star card right here. That's like the healing, the balance, the health, the whole nine yards. You're going to be fine, right? You're gonna be fine. So as long as you know it's not you that was doing the dirt and it was dirt being done to you, you will be quite okay, all right? If you're the one that was doing the hurt, God help you. That's all I could say, but um, nah, you guys will be all right. And I'm going to leave that here for now, Capricorn. Good night.